now that you're happy with the workers in the bottling company, I would like to make you the managing director. And for the poultry farm, you can call for employment. You may hire a driver if you so wish. Wow, Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I should be thanking you. You see, I promised myself that I was going to make you the richest young man in town before you turn time years. And I'm happy you are living up to it. <laughs> that I'm grateful. I mean, you're doing it already. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's well. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm proud of you. And I'm also indebted in the work you Sometimes, I just wonder if I'm still part of this family. Now, what is the meaning of that? Don't worry, Dad. I'll be right back. Let me go to her. The meaning of that. Why does your father constantly remind me that my father left nothing tangible for me? And what do you mean by that? Why can't he make me a manager in one of his companies? Why? Oh, that? I see someone is trying to be productive. Very good. Okay, um, fine. I will talk to my father, alright? He is going to make you the manager of the poultry farm. How about that? Excuse you? Can you hear yourself speak? A university graduate like me, a manager in a poultry farm? Hey, come on, honey. You don't need to work yourself for nothing. All right? Okay, fine. I can talk to my father. He could make you manager in any of the companies. How about that? You will have to talk to your father before he can give your wife a suitable job. Oh, come on. What is wrong with you, Lizzie? I mean, what do you need a job for? I pay you salary. I give you everything you need in this house. You don't need a job if you ask me. You know what? I am done talking about this. I thought you were mad. Come on, why are you working yourself up for nothing? You don't need a job. Okay, fine, I'll talk to my father. She's not even talking. My son, a woman is like a cuckoo man. No one knows where the head will take when it sleeps. That is deep. Yes, it is. You have to watch your wife. You watch her closely. Don't let her take your dignity away. Mm -hmm. Always take your stand. Love her unconditionally. Oh, Dad. Thank you so much for the piece of advice. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm inspired. <laughs> Let's drink to it. Oh, of course. Okay. So, to loving my wife unconditionally and. Yes, and working hard at the office. Exactly. <laughs> and for. Long life and prosperity to this family. We keep moving from strength to strength. That is it. 
Here we go, Dad. <laughs> Just see. Here we go, Dad. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to the latest manager in town. Mm -hmm. A glass of wine. Nice. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. Go and call that. He's already awake. And I said you should call him. He's coming down from the staircase. Oh. Is breakfast ready? Yes, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. What is this? Pap? Obviously, sir. You should have asked me what I wanted. I don't like Pap. So? You mean the stress of waking up early to assist Anne in the kitchen is useless? No, I didn't say that. I said I don't like Pap. Definitely, I don't want it for breakfast. You just know how to ruin someone's day. Anna. Sir? You know I don't like Pap. Why did you prepare it for me? She insisted I prepare it, sir. I told her you do not like Pap. She said I should prepare it anyway. I'll go to the kitchen and fry me some plantain. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. You want You can never tell me. Honey, I told you I cannot continue with this anymore. What happened? Is it not your father? That man can never be appreciative for once. He finds reason to complain in everything, just everything I do. I just asked, what happened? What is it with my father? He just rejected my breakfast, simply because it's bad. Then honey, you should give him what he wants. It's not as if we don't have enough food in this house. And you expect me to go back to the kitchen? Hell no, I'm not going back to the kitchen. And that is why we have Anna. I mean, that's why we pay her, allow her to do her job. Listen, sweetheart, we are all going to eat the same breakfast. If he doesn't want to eat with us, he should go hungry. Yes. Oh, come on, Lisa. This is my father we're talking about. I don't care if he's your god. He should learn to eat whatever I serve him for breakfast. This is my house. My husband's house. My house. My rules. What are you doing in my kitchen? I find plantain. I got to say he wants to eat plantain. Who is that? My friend, drop that in and get out. He said he's very hungry now. Drop it and get out! Do you want me to push you? Get out! Leave me and go! Morning, Dad. Oh, morning. How was your night? Oh, it was fine. You're ready for work. Yeah? Oh, yes, I am. You drive safely. Fine. See you in the evening. All right. Okay. 
All right, take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. All right. Where is the platter? Auntie Elizabeth drove me out of the kitchen. Elizabeth drove you out of the kitchen? Why? Because I decided what we all eat in this house. Elizabeth, do I have to remind you that I built this house? And I employed Anna to be my cook. And it's my kitchen. I decide what goes on in there. Anna. Sir? Go back to the kitchen and finish up with the plantain. Thank you, sir. Sir? Yes? The kitchen is locked. Elizabeth, why did you lock the kitchen? It is my kitchen. That how many times do I need to tell you that my wife is not your cook? She's not your maid. If you need anything to eat, tell Anna that's why she's there. That's why she's paid. So, do you know that sometimes when I look at you, I see myself as a man who brought a honeycomb to stay with you. If you would excuse me, I had a terrible day. me as if I'm a little girl that needs guidance in everything. He even wants me to beg him for a job. Oh, Lizzie, please calm down, okay? Don't be upset. I spoke with Collins and he promised to see me this evening. When he comes, I'm sure discuss all this with him and all these things will stop. Thank you. So now, what do I offer you to do? Anything chill would be nice. Anything chill. That means you need scotch or the rock. Whatever. Bye, man! I think I know why you invited me. And why haven't you done anything about it? Jerry, I'm still... It's a, it's a gradual process, all right? And I'm still doing something. Collins, listen. If you want a happy home, then keep your father away from it. How? Send him to the village. Or you buy a house for him out the outskirts of the city. That's simple. Very funny. Collins. I'm sure you know my father is in the village. That is where he should be. Closer to his ancestors. Because you built your house with your money. I didn't build where I live with my money. It wouldn't be easy sending him out of his own house. 
Don't you think? Collins, can I ask you a simple question? Go on. Do you love your wife? <laughs> I hear the one asking this question. Of course you know I love my wife. But your actions are proving otherwise. Collins, give her a happy home. I mean, make that home comfortable for her. The truth is, I've allowed my wife to treat my dad with so much scorn and hatred. But he still doesn't feel irritated to leave. If I let your wife do more, one day he will be irritated and he will be forced to go to the village. Tell her to do more, more. Jerry, you don't understand. My father is a very quiet man. He can't be easily upset, no matter how much you try. You see, Collins. I'll call your wife and I'll give her tips on how to deal with him. I swear down this time he will feel it to his bones. Mark my words. Do you think it's good? You see, with that, you will be totally handicapped. You see why I always come to you? <laughs> you are too smart. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. I will still come back and thank you. Thank me. I'll be waiting. <laughs> How many times do you open the gate? Other man, who they count. And you, Abana. When last did you clean this house? Yesterday, ma. Mm -mm, today, ma. <laughs> How many times? Every day, ma. Every day. Mr. Driver. John. My name is John. Oh, shut up. Who cares what your stupid name is? You're just an ordinary driver. Common driver. I'm sorry. Sorry for your stupid self. How many times do you drive my father in love? <coughs> he doesn't normally go out unless he's going to golf club. So you do literally nothing in this house. Ma? You are paid to do nothing in this house. Hey. Anyway, I am going to pay you for this month, so that you go elsewhere and get yourselves jobs. Ma? Ma, uh, ma, 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 I am hey. still talking. Hey, you. I didn't ask you to go. I'm going to give you one month grace. If you continue your madness of siding with my father in law. Thank you, Ma. Henceforth, your duties in this house includes cleaning. Yes, Ma. You can go. Thank you, Ma. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. Oh, my, 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 John! 
I told this brother that I'm going to the cathedral this morning for. John is not around, sir. Where did he go to? Auntie Elizabeth sacked him yesterday. Elizabeth sacked him. How can Elizabeth sack my, my driver without my consent? Okay. Tell Eket to open the gate for me. Eket is also not around, sir. She sacked him too? Yes, sir. What is wrong with this lady? How can she be sacking my, my workers without my consent? What an insult. I won't give the devil the chance this morning. Just to open the gate. Where is your wife? She's upstairs. Go and tell her I want to see her. But she's asleep. I can't go to wake her. Is that a problem? Your wife sacked my driver, my gate man and my cleaner without even informing me. Maybe because she doesn't need the services anymore. Did you hear yourself? Maybe your wife doesn't need the services of my driver and my get man too. How can she sack people she didn't employ in the first place? Is that not height of insult? Daddy, she must have a reason for doing that. So you are aware of it from the beginning, eh? No, God, please, I'm on time. I really need to go to bed. But I'll, I'll ask her tomorrow. I don't know why she did such a thing. Good night. To have a word with you, sir. Okay. I just wanted to remind you of my undying loyalty to you, sir. I honestly hate to see you sad. Mm. And if there's anything I can do to to help, I will not hesitate to help, sir. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you very much. That's well. Can you go and get me a cup of water? Of course, sir. Good. I really mean it, sir. I could never forget how you took me off the streets, assisted me, and changed my life. I owe you everything, sir. And Anna is at your beck and call. Thank you very much, Anna. That is reassuring. Thank you once again. I'll get the water, sir. Please do. Thank you.
Good morning, Dad. Oh, good morning, son. How's your life? Man, you ready for work? Oh, yes, I'm ready. Oh. Uh -huh. um, did you ask your wife what I told you last night to ask her? Don't tell me you woke up still having that grudge in your heart. Is that an answer to my question? But that honestly, I am beginning to have it up here. My wife is not your maid. She's not your cook. Excuse me. I was complaining. Yes, get me a glass of juice. Yes, ma'am. Come. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water before bringing the juice. Uh, Elizabeth, come and help me with this. Old man, my name is Lizzie, not Elizabeth. By the way, help you with what? I'm not a doctor, and I don't look like one. Or you just want to report me to your son again? You don't have to be a doctor to use this. I don't want to use it. Ah. Come and help me with this. Anna, get me fresh tomatoes and onions. Rush to the market. But, madam, how come you seem to help me on you? The money is on my bed. Rush to the market immediately. Anna, huh? go and help her buy tomatoes. Mm. Thank you, sir. Get going! Fresh tomatoes, fresh! Don't buy rubbish for me. For you, where are you? Eliza, mom. Mama, can you give me Eliza? Eliza, I beg I need Eliza. Lizzy, mama, Lizzy, let me change you. Lizzy. Mhm. Bien. Mhm. What do you mean? You don't look happy. What happened? How can I be happy? Mama, you need to follow me to my house. You need to follow me to that house to show them that you're an action woman. Not to pay you for Bella's. Let's see. Let, let them know that I have somebody. You still haven't told me what happened. Mama, I just want to be in charge of that house. I want to be in charge of the companies, the kitchen, everything, Mama. I want to be in charge of everything. Mm. Don't worry. I will come and display a little drama for them. Trust me. I will tell them that you are the daughter of a lioness. Bien. Oh, mama. Hey. Yeah, man, you look so okay, electric. Come and show them. Oh, why? Bia yenya. Bia tie. Hey, Nemo. Ozuanato. Action woman. I know what you can do. Don't worry yourself. Oh. Let me go and get you something to eat. Hey, mama, mama, mama. Don't bother yourself, eh? I need to rush back to town. Hmm? Hey. Hey, my husband will come and pick you. 
Well, before then, can't tell you, child. Can you not offer me? You want to, you know, you want to know what I'm not allowed The lady is making the house unbearable for me. Not just me, every other person, in fact. She insults Chief to his face. Anytime she likes. And what does a son do about it? Hmm. That one. He has never put her in place. He does not call her to order. He just sits. Without saying a word. Hey! You see? In that case, you have to apply wisdom. Don't get involved in anything that concerns them. They are one family. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, who am I seeing? Sister. <laughs> she went to church. Hey. Sister, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sister. How are you? I work. Work is fine. <laughs> oh, I hear you made straight A's in your work. Sister, I made seven A's and two B's. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good. Sister, I chose that I want to buy my jam phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew you would not miss that. Mm -hmm. I did not worry. I'm so proud of you. Once I get my salary at the end of the month, I'll give you money. Oh, <laughs> Mama, did you hear her? I heard, I heard my <laughs> Go and get me water to drink before I go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Welcome. No problem. <laughs> was coming to the right place. This is paradise. One, two, three! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm coming, let me feed my eyes. Nine. You are the best thing that happened to my generation. God bless the day I found the day my daughter found you for us. Hey! Mama, come, let's go. Come, 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 come let's go. You are so used to it. Hey! You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, glass. <laughs> my, my reflection, no one. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Father, I thank you. Let's go. You are welcome. Go. This is your house. Feel free, all right? Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Right. Oh, sweet home. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're welcome. No. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Mama, you've not seen anything yet. Wait till we go upstairs. This is heaven. Okay, ladies. I have to go. Honey, take mom to her room. Huh? All right. So. Okay. My good in law. <laughs> All right, my love. I'm coming. No, no, no. A good dim now, but I now. You look good as well. You've changed so much. Go see Kenneth. Eh? Eh? Mm? Eh? Mm? Oh, go see Kenneth. Eh? <laughs> Ma, hmm. I would have even looked prettier and fatter. Ma, go no any liye go liye go ike. If not for one blood sucking demon in this house. You see? The person is bent on what's now mama name with the week. Giving me a headache day and night. And who could that be? A maid or your husband's relative? Mara Boko. You just came. You have to freshen up. Eat well prepared. Delicious food. Now you're mates. Yeah. Eh? After that we can talk. That one is by the way. Let me take it here. Let's go. See around the neck. 24 karat gold. Eh? Ah, I, I didn't know you were here. They didn't tell me you were coming. Must you be told I was coming? Eh? Do I need to take permission from you before I visit my son-in-law? No, no, my in-law, it's not like that. I mean, this is also your house. But what I mean is that if I knew you were coming, if they told me, I would have arranged the Catfish for you. I can't remember telling you anything about catfish. Did I tell you I've never eaten catfish before? My lord, are we fighting? Did I throw a punch at you? I can go. I was coming to sit down, but I can see it's not conducive for you. Hey! Mama. You are the bomb. Hey! Look at the way you are giving it to him. Giving it to him. Mm. You know what, Mama? You should be visiting every week. <laughs> Trust me. I will make this house uncomfortable for him. Yemi, yemi, yemi. And I'm going express. Bam! My action lady. Oh. My only mama. One <laughs> 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 Let's continue. Hey, I'm going to get it though. Mama, there is money in this Abiko. If these women in the village, I need to show them. Okay, that we have arrived. You see the money, I'm going to eat it for them. I made you a quack for you, eat it for them. I need to talk to you. Is that some kind of greeting or what? Do you eat Britain? Why do you always behave as if you're uncivilized? The cricket is a very good singer. But he sings in the bottom of the nature. Do you think I'm here to listen to your flimsy adage? Listen, I want a better and permanent room for my mother in this house. That's good. What happened to the guest? She doesn't like it. I want to give her the room beside your own. Really? Mm -hmm. Really. But you know that is impossible. That room belongs to my late wife. So? So the room should be left empty because it belonged to your late wife? 
Hey! So I should be begging for a room in my own daughter's house. Ask him. Is that not sheer wickedness? Woman, did I remind you that this house belonged to me? Which house is yours? You're a wicked and greedy man. What did you say? You heard me. Shame on you. Your mates are in their villages and you're here discomforting this young couple. Can you imagine? If you want to do this here, your papa is around. If you want to go this side, he's around. Eh? You won't allow us young couple to experiment, do some things in this house. Go to the village, your mates have retired. I don't have anything to say to you. I have nothing to say to you. Okay, man. See, I'm even suspecting you are hiding some of your cutting materials in that room. I know you. It's okay. You don't make it. What nonsense? Since uh, it has come to that. I see you are looking for a worthy husband for your mother. <laughs> do you think you can marry my mother? Back to send that. You cannot marry my mother. Can you imagine? Old man. Actually, if I will be dodging him, we will not express our love in this house. Go and die or go to the village. Come on, do you can become. Mama. He hasn't seen anything. Mama, if we continue like this, eh, you know this time. time. He pack his belongings and run away from this house. I'm not going to be his daughter. Yeah, look at his face. Don't worry, that is why I was in the bra. Bam. Hey, my boy. Bam. Collins, your wife brought her mother here this morning to insult me. She tell you. I saw you. She called me a wicked man, an occultic man. Are you not an occultic man? Eh? Or what on earth would make you lock your wife's room for years? Did you hear that? Uh, that she just asked the question. Collins, what has gotten your brain off its capacity to think? Where is your sense of manhood? Are you insulting me before my in-laws? Do you know that? No, you are the one insulting yourself in front of your in-laws by failing to be a man. My son, please forgive him. Oh, If I may ask, Father, that room has been locked for many years and I haven't even gone in there and it makes me wonder is there anything going on there that I don't know of? Ask him! Ask him! You see, if by tomorrow you don't hand me the key to that room I will personally break it and replace it with a new one and that's fine. Oh, wow. I love you, baby! And your mother's ghost will Haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there is nothing like ghosts. <laughs> Mama, let's go. And there is nothing like ghosts. Wicked <laughs> man. Go and retire. But Dad, I told you I was going to do it, didn't I? And you moved my wife's things to the director room. Dad, if there is anyone who is meant to fight for those things, it should be me. Because she was my mother. Now I know I have to ride in a different direction. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. 
What is in that bag? Snacks for chief. So all you do is make it look as if I'm wicked. You go about telling people that I don't cook in this house, right? Ma, where is this coming from? Were you not the one who instructed that I must not enter your kitchen? Mama, she's talking back at me. Anna, so you can now talk back at me. I'm sorry, Ma. You're not taking this rubbish into my house. Yeah, Ma. What is happening here? Sir, Madam insists I must not take the snacks inside for you. <gasps> mm. Bring down the heaven if you can. Mama, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Leave my way, old man. I called you here so that you would talk to your daughter. You want me to talk to my daughter? Yes. Have you talked to yourself? Or do you need me to remind you that you are the one that needs to be talked to? I've watched you since you arrived in this house. I noticed that you came fully prepared for that. Thank party. God you know that. Thank God you know that. Listen, I came here to rest. I don't have your time. I'm going. If you like, kill my daughter with your wickedness. Oh! <laughs> but I promise you, you will not like what you get. Mama, don't mind him. Hmm? Let me see you to the door. Hmm. That's just a thing, eh? <laughs> 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 I don't understand. I said I want the books in the boys' quarters cleared. Why? I want to make use of it. I want to use that room as my storeroom. But why the boys' quarters when we have two room stores in this main building? Why the boys' quarters where I store my books? And you expect me to answer that question? By the way, why do I always have to explain myself anytime I want to do anything in this house? My husband's house! Do you know you are rude? You are mannerless and it's not good for you. I just... What is going on? Your father has refused to clear the books from the boys quarters so I could store those things I told you that I want to buy. Honey, please. Can we leave this for another day? Just, just let him be, please. Goddess, tell your wife. In fact, make her understand that I am not her mate. Neither am I her co-wife. And sincerely, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. All these scuffles and stuff. I don't, I don't like it. Why can't we live in peace in this house? Eh? Every time quarreling. If this continues, I don't mind to build a house for you elsewhere. No, I will be the one to build a house for you. What do you have? Who's quarreling with my wife? Let me 
me alone. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, Biko. I want me to sleep. You're angry with me, right? Hey, Now you do know that I'm angry with you. Mm. Until you question your father to stop nagging at me, to give me my respect in this house as your wife. Hey. Caution him. Come on, my love. No one is disrespecting you in this house. But you should respect my father as well. But okay. Is that why you want to deny me my conjugal right? What conjugal right? Eh? This is not there. Until your father starts giving me the respect that I deserve in this house. You are not getting in between my thighs. Case closed. My love, you are doing visually everything you want in this house. Even when they are against my father's wish. What else do you want? Make him to respect me. I deserve to be respected. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I, I will tell him to respect you. Alright? Is that okay now? No respect. I'm saying that I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Let them start respecting me first. Then you can come back. I will tell them. They will respect you. Let them start it. Then you can come. For now, I'm not in the mood. I want you to sleep. My love, I promise. Respect to rush you. I will let them know. Respect to rush you, my love, okay? I'll rush you to. I'll rush you to with several blows now. Give me a blow. Please let me sleep. I'm not in the mood. I have been using it before you came here. What? What? I am not your maid. You want to fight me? You want to fight me in my husband's house? Have you gone nuts? You are fired. You cannot fire me because you did not employ me. What temerity? What nerves? You are even talking back at me. You know what? Go in there, pack your things and leave this house. I cannot do that. The only person that can make me do that is Oga. Get out of my sight! Can you imagine? Is that all you could do? Get out of my sight! That is all you could say! Or... Go in there, discipline her, show her that you are the man of this house! Go! Right? Yes, right! Okay, I will go in there now and I will sack her! Yes, fire her, that is what Anna! I... Go! Anna! Can you imagine? Ordinary maid! Oh, she touched me. Come! Oh. Oh. Anna! What is the problem? Mr. Collins fired me, sir. Mr. Collins fired why? His wife had asked me to remove your clothes from the washing machine, and I refused. Take your bag back to the house. Sir? Take your bag inside. Let me see who's going to stop. Take your bag inside with your dad. I have sacked her for insulting my wife. Anna. Sir? Go and keep your bag in the house. Let me see who's going to stop it. 
that the duty of what I said, she insulted my wife and almost fought her. Listen. Listen to me, young man. Let me tell you, being a man is in the head. I'm not being easily misled by an excited dog. Did you hear that? Honey, honey, we are late. No one is keeping her. I have places to go to. So, I need you to take me to the hospital. I think my BP is high. Dad, can I wait till tomorrow? No. Uh, it would not be possible because I'm taking my wife to the salon. We won't waste time at the hospital. Oh, Dad. You sound as if you're not living in this house with us. I always take my wife to the salon every Saturday. That's our normal ritual. I won't change today. Tell uh, you, I'm aware that she has her own car. And she can drive. Oh, Dad. Yes. Oh, honey. Sweet up, I'm ready. <laughs> Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. How do I look? Oh, you look lavish. Mm -hmm. As to prepare something for Chief to eat. Answer my question first. Did you enter my kitchen? Are you stupid? Have you gone nuts? How many times have I told you not to enter my kitchen without my consent? Come. Elizabeth, how long will you do this before you know that you overstepped in your boundaries? You don't have the right to hit my worker. And you I don't will. have the right to hit her. I will hit her again if I still desire. Now take this food back to my kitchen. This minute. Uh, Anna, Anna, come here. Anna. Please, just allow me to touch her a little. I can handle her. I said no. Don't give her the pleasure. Anna. Just take it. Anna. Anna, hold yourself. Don't. Everything we do in this world, everything has its reward. Pulled away my food. How could you be this wicked? Do you realize you just spat on my face? Leave my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen! Don't allow me to push you. I will push you! No. Do you know that I built this house and I own everything that is in it? You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave my kitchen, right? Okay. You are going to sleep here. Foolish old man. You are going to sleep in this kitchen today. You will sleep there today. Idiot. Mm -hmm. Ma, did you just lock a guy in the kitchen? Do you want to lose your job? No, ma, but he's hypertensive. I can't get out of my sight. Sir! 
So, Auntie. This is not happening. How was work today? Well, um, we thank God for today. We've mm. done what we can. <laughs> so, my love, if you know what is good for me right now, give me food. I'm hungry. You know what, baby boy? I am taking you out. <laughs> out? Yes. Uh, baby, I don't want to eat outside. I don't want snacks. I want good food prepared by my lovely wife. Baby, I'm taking you to the best restaurant in town. Okay, so let's go stay so fresh up. Is it anyone's birthday? Meaning I can't take my handsome, hardworking husband out. Mm. Let's go upstairs so you freshen up. Mm? Okay. Change to something casual. All right. <laughs> I'll to give you a treat. Because you know that you are the best wife in the whole wide world. Yeah? I know. And I will do everything to make you happy. Yes. I'm about, I will keep loving you, loving you, loving you. Oh. I, I love you more, baby. What is it? What is your problem? It's okay, baby. Let's go upstairs. I can rock your world. Rock my body. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sasha, she locked your father in the kitchen all afternoon. He's still there. Is he complaining? It's okay, baby. I'm asking you, is he complaining? Oh, my love, my love, it's okay. Uh, baby, let's go upstairs. No, I need you to answer my question. My father complained. Oh, my Lord, Lord, baby. This way. Yes. Yes, sir. Upstairs. Everything we do in this world Everything has its reward Everything you do comes back to you. Makwara ona biani bazu ewa. Makwara na bia, makwara na bia, makwara na biani bazu. Everything you do, everything you do comes back to you. Comes back to you. Hey, Catherine, get up and get out of my kitchen door. Mm -hmm. Yes, can't you greet? Now we know who owns this kitchen. 
I hope you enjoyed your night. That is very well. And may you be served in the circle of the night. Sir, are you alright? And how can I be alright? I have slight fever. Let me help you, sir. Do you want me to get you anything? What I need now is a hot water bath. Very well then. Let me get it ready, sir. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Old man, this is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> See, Mom, Dad. Dad. You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. How are you? Dad, how are you doing? Collins, did you not hear that your wife locked me up in the kitchen? Let me oh, help you. Dad, not again. It's too early to spoil my day already with your constant complaints. Uh, baby, let me see it at the door, okay? Excuse me. I don't know how to do that. It's okay. 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 It's Why she locked me up in the kitchen? Dad, Dad, you can help me. And I want you to answer me sincerely. Why do you hate my wife so much? Why is it that every time my wife is, my wife that? You hate her too much and it's too bad. Your father's hatred will not cut close to my vein. Mm -mm. I will keep fighting. I will fight, fight, and fight until he gets tired. And finally have his rest in the grave. I cost you. I cost you, you this ill mannered girl. You shall cry and nobody shall be there to console you. Mm -hmm. You will walk under the rain in a lonely road that has no end. Honey, can you hear him? Can you hear your father? He just laid a curse on me. Yes. And you do something. Do you know what? Back to sender. I send it back to you. One million pounds. You are the one that will cry blood under the rain. Now I know what you wish for my wife. But not to worry. I know what to do. And let's go. Thank you very much, Lincoln. Empeched man. Back to sender. Empeched man. Back to sender. You see, you see, you see, you see that rain? You're the one that will whip under the rain. Look at you. You will cry on blood under the rain. Your wife will turn to pray. It will turn to blood under the rain. Evil man. Evil man. Call yourself a wife. You are cursed. I have played a curse on you. I repent. Hello, Bugsy. I don't like this gun that you give to me. I don't like it. I've told you that I've started getting rid of everyone that makes me unhappy in my home. So I need a good gun, a better one. Alright, I'll be waiting. Bye. Mom, 
Are you flirting rid of me? <laughs> 